<clears throat> this is now Thursday. And for breakfast, I have been given a hot dog and orange juice. This is very interesting. I've never had a hot dog for breakfast before. Eh. No complaints. I'm not paying for it, so. But, I remember that I have, I don't really like mustard on my hot dogs, but I remembered I saved my, my mayonnaise. Because I do like mayonnaise on hot dogs. So I could put that on. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm camping. Like, anything I didn't bring with me, I have no way of getting. So yes, this is my version of camping. And if you haven't, I hate camping. So, hot dog, orange juice. I fell asleep yesterday at like 5.30, 6 p.m. I woke up this morning at like 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., 1 a.m. Took my meds, brushed my teeth, went back to bed, woke up again at 5 a.m. So I really like got all my sleeping yesterday and last night, but like there's really not a whole lot to do. Mm, I'm still waiting for my stuff from G Market. It hasn't shipped yet. But, uh, so yes, I'm going to eat this hot dog. Because I'm tired. It is still Thursday, but lunchtime. And I'm so hungry all the time. Once again, do I know what I'm eating? Beeman? Maybe it's Beeman's up? I'm not sure, but it looks good, and I'm hungry. Sauce packet to pour on top. Oh, I should probably test this so spicy. Then, they gave me some seaweed. So, I'm just going to dip it up. Rip it up, put it on, rip it up, put it on, rip it up, put it on. Okay. I'm wash my hands again. The other sauce packet that they get me. Let's get, I don't know what this is. Ooh, ooh. Sesame seed oil. I can smell it. Not a whole lot because I am not like the biggest fan. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and there's a little bit of fatty. Oh, I should probably show you what it looks like first. There's a little egg in the bottom, which is cute. And egg on top, too. And mushrooms. And beef and carrots. A little bit of onion, some salad. I like adding rice to my salad, and I like rice in salads, too. I think it's just... I just don't like plain salads. Like, here's some lettuce. I'm not a big fan of that. Good. Okay. Wish we could get like something other than water to drink. <laughs> you haven't noticed I don't like drinking just plain water for meals like I can drink it but like when I'm eating something I want something other than water mm. since being here I've taken a whole lot of naps a lot of naps what mm -mm -mm. I'm going to reorganize my suitcases like I don't need both of them open I'm pretty much just like living in comfy clothes right now It's not mushroom, it's a scallop. 
Mmm, it's really good. Mm, 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 mm. Actually, my Jew Market stuff is that I ordered. Okay. I ordered it yesterday. And two of the things is not yet shipped, and two of the other things is preparing for shipment. So. When I'll actually get these, I don't know. I'm going to be really, I mean, I'm going to be kind of upset if I get them after the quarantine is over with because I feel like that's something that might happen in the States. I'm going to keep looking in this, like, on apps and stuff like that and, and just, like, search columns and see if there's, like, a grocery delivery service or something like that. Just so, like, I'm not sitting here like a dog at the door waiting for the food to come. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Also, I could not figure out how to get the hot water to stay hot. It just kind of like comes and goes. And I don't know if that's just a byproduct of it coming out of like the sink. Like you turn on the sink and then the water comes out that way. I don't know if that's like just a part of that. But it's like you'll be taking your little shower. And it's like, oh my god, it's so cold. And then like the next thing it's like, okay, now it's warm. It's never hot. Now they're taking hot showers, so. Mm. I'm going to finish eating this. And then just organize up here a little bit. Ooh. Welcome back to me eating. I'm kind of excited. Oh. My camera is off. I need to release. There we go. Kind of excited about this one because we have these. Two red with glass noodles. Mmm. These are my favorite. I order these actually, not order them, but I get them from the local Asian market at home. I love them. I'm on like my third or fourth bag. It looks like today. I have pork cutlet with rice, kimchi, more rice, the seaweed wraps, bulgogi, and some pickles. Mm -mm. I've been I've implemented a new rule. No napping after one because I will just sleep all day and I need to do something other than sleep all day even though sleeping all day is my favorite to do. Like this is great. I get to do nothing and sleep. Um, yeah, I'm loving it, but I need to be practicing my Korean more than I need to be sleeping. So that's my new rule. And I'm going to try to be like, okay, I need to go to bed, like lights out, go to bed at like 10 or 11, like no later. Just sleeping. Like, why if I don't wake up at weird times? Like, it's great that I get to sleep so much but not so great that like my jet lag is making it like it's off like it's bad like my prime time like i want to go to sleep at like 3 p.m and then wake up at like 2 a.m ready to go and i need to like fix that <sighs> food is really good and my little quarantine app every day i have to like feel like did you lose lost a taste like no this stuff plays really good I also figured out how to work the hot water. Cause now my showers won't be freezing cold. I'm excited for that. And I picked up, like, put stuff away, organized a little bit. Uh, I put this suitcase, like, up, up. Here. 
because like there's just no point in having two suitcases open like my hair is driving me insane like I have my products for it but I don't have any like gel for it so it's just fluff without a shape and it drives me up the wall like I have it up and then when I turn my camera on I, turn, I bring it down because no one really wants to see that oh we're sweet pickles Interesting. Mm. I'm just like kind of like boredom is setting in because when I'm sleeping, my family's awake. When my family's awake, like I'm sleeping and like not really being used to talk to the people that I'm so used to talking to every day. It is incredibly difficult because I'm just used to having that like okay like good morning good night consistency but like now like they may not even text me good morning or good night because good morning there is good afternoon here and good night here is like it's completely different and it's just like the hard part of it I mean obviously I knew this would happen like a time difference but I didn't know how it would happen, like, emotionally. I like texting my mom and Max and Kay and everyone like that, too. So it's, like, kind of... I just feel like when I can get out and do something other than just sit in here, it'll be different. But, like, I'm just waiting for my phone to buzz or something like that for someone to talk to. Because I'm just here talking to a camera while I eat my food. I was able to get the video uploaded. I think it came out okay. It's not blurry on my end. It was originally, but now like it says it's like processing in HD, so I hope that means it's not like still blurry on their end, but it's clear on my end. I seriously have no clue how to work YouTube. I'm just pretending I do. I'm just start some K-dramas, just so I can get used to hearing like, the language every day. And also it's just something to talk about. Like when I finally get to the school and my teacher be like, oh, did you watch like blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, yeah. My favorite K-drama is, um, was like my first love, my first real love or something like that. The acting, like, I've noticed, like, Korean acting is much different than U.S. acting. They're just so over the top. This one, like, not so much, so I actually can watch it and enjoy it. The next one, oh, I love, like, I think it's called Secret Garden. No, Meteor Garden. Meteor Garden was really good. It's in Chinese, though. That one was really good. I can't finish it. Like, I refuse to watch the last four episodes of it. Like, I can't do it. I'm just happy where it is now because it's so back and forth. Um, I think there's, like, a stigma in the States about watching, like, TV shows and movies and like different languages like oh you have to watch it with subtitle like i don't know why people don't like it or won't even try it or embrace it like they just put a front up about it but there's so many cultures and there's so many languages in this world like there's not just english and other people are going to learn english but as a foreigner being here just my experience in the airport when someone just knows the basics of another language, like my sole language is like English. When someone, like just a few people that knew like yes, no, that kind of thing, it helped so much. And like maybe they never took an English class, but like maybe they just watched a show and they picked it up from there. Like, I think it's very small minded to be like, oh, I only want to do it. If it's not in English, I won't do it. That's my rant for this meal. I feel like this just becoming me ranting now. That's fine. Alright. 
So, lunch time. What did I get? I took a nap. I feel great. <gasps> French fries! With no salt. You know what? Yes. Yes. Interesting. It seems to be like a fried chicken with egg. Like this looks like uh, crab. It's like a green sauce, some rice under it, and then it's French fries, and then more of the spicy sauce and mayo. So I'm going to heat these up. Keep this one fairly short. For now, still still want to get my coffee and juice, but I don't have any. Mm. Okay, so after I get done eating, I wash everything, and I was just gonna show that because everything with the garbage is interesting too. So let me just grab that. Like I said before, like all the garbage stays here until I leave. So, what I've been doing is literally just washing it so that it doesn't smell. Um, I took the french fries and I put it in here to heat up so that's why that got re dirty again. And then some soap. This is like green grape scented and it smells so awesome. the washing machine so I have like some of my clothes in here but like as you can see I don't I don't know any of these a I'm pretty sure I can figure it out like I said like I have the translate app on my phone so I'm not like the most worried about it like oh wow someone has not cleaned that out So like laundry detergent, softener, bleach, like all that stuff goes in here. So I just need to get my phone and translate it and I'm good to go with that. All right, I got my phone. I'm going to try and translate this. Reserve. Draining, temperature, weight, laundry, water temperature, pause, noise, power. Okay, so. Got it. So I want this one. <coughs> I want it up here on the top. Yes, that one. And then I want it. Yes. Three minutes, four minutes. Is that an hour? I don't know what I'm doing there. What am I doing there? Example. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay, and now I need to put the detergent in, which they have given me over here. <laughs> Okay. It smells good. Just a little bit. Okay, you know what? I'm 
just gonna walk away. I don't know what I did. I don't know what anything means. It's flashing at me. But I don't know what it wants me to do. So I'm just gonna walk away. Now it's saying D E. <gasps> Door! It's not like a big deal, like I don't have any clothes to wear, but it's just giving me something to do to wash them. So, I wish I had like a broom because my hair, I shed a lot and my hair is just kind of like all over the floor and it's starting to bother me and there's no way or nothing for me to do about it. So I'm just going to have to deal with it but that's something on my list of things to get like when I do get to my apartment like. This one's nice. Like the big kid purchases, quote unquote. It's definitely gonna have to do like a vacuum or like a broom. My first paycheck, this is really weird. I wanna get an air fryer. I love air fryers so incredibly much. I bought down and I bought one actually on Black Friday after asking for one for Christmas for two years. And everybody in my family used it, which I thought was really funny. And it was just one of those things like, yeah, we should have got this sooner. This is the last video of the first one this Friday. So I thought I'll just kind of break this up and give you a little room tour while I'm at it. So when I first walk in, I had just like my suitcase here, water that they gave me. This is just kind of like my overall storage thing, like my hair stuff, my face stuff. Um, where I eat, it looks like we're doing like first repeat meal, just the beef and rice, which is fine. I don't mind, it's pretty good. Water, my cute little fridge, my drying rack. I come in this way to my kitchen that has the washing machine and then I have the garbage set up over here and then here's my bed my bed was more in the middle and I kind of pushed it over so it's not so centered plus I just have more of a walkway and then I come over here and then here's the bathroom and then here is the shower head connected to the sink so this whole thing gets wet so right before I take a shower I just take my toilet paper out take a shower in my Crocs they gave me shower shoes but look 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 I don't know who these are gonna fit but not me so that's all right that's why I brought my Crocs it doesn't really matter I just thought it was kind of funny. Outlets, a little bit different than how we have in the state, so that's why I had an adapter. But yeah, so hopefully next week I can have a little bit more of what's going on, but this is just kind of where I've been, you know, stuck for two weeks. 